Right, we're going to look at a problem where we're going to find the least number of terms for an arithmetic series to exceed a given value. So here's our arithmetic series. It goes 12, 24, 36, 48. And we want it to exceed, when you add all these up, to exceed 3,240. Now we know that the sum of an arithmetic series is given by this formula. So the sum of the first n terms, we're going to use this one because this can be more common for you to use, is equal to half times the number of terms times 2a, a being the first term, plus n minus 1 lots of d, d being the common difference. Remember, n is the number of terms. Now we want to know when this is greater than 3,240. So we're going to have a half n times 2a plus n minus 1d has got to be greater than 3,240. And let's put in the values we know. We know a is 12 because the first term is 12. We know that it goes up by 12 each time. So therefore the common difference is also 12 in this case. So let's put that into our formula. So we've got a half times n times 2a. 2 times 12 is 24. Plus n minus 1, we don't know n, times d, the common difference, 12, is greater than 3,240. Let's do a bit of simplification. Let's just multiply this little bracket out in here. So we've got a half n times 24 plus n times 12 is 12n. Minus 1 times 12 is minus 12, and that's greater than 3,240. Now we got 24 minus 12. Let's do that bit first. So that gives me 12 plus 12n is greater than this. And what we can see here is we can times this out by a half n. So half n times 12 is going to be giving me 12 lots of a half n, which is 6n. And a half n times 12n is going to give me 6n squared and we want to know when that's greater than 3240. Now what we do we can see we've got a quadratic here and I'm just going to scroll down and get myself a bit more space and what we do with a quadratic is we get it all onto the same side. I'm going to write the highest power first so we've got 6n squared plus 6n minus taking this onto this side 3240 must be greater than zero. Now to make our numbers easier we can see that 6 goes into every single value. And if we divide every value by 6, we get n squared plus n minus 540. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the point at where it equals naught. And to do that, we use a quadratic formula. So n will equal minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Remember. This is going to be a n squared plus b n plus c equals naught. This equation solves, sorry, this formula solves this equation, given that you know the a, the b, and the c. So we know that a is 1 because 1 lot of n squared. We know that b is 1 because we've got 1 lot of n. And we know that c, the number on the end, is minus 540. So put those into your formula and you get minus 1 plus or minus. 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is going to be 1, times c, which is going to be minus 540. Okay, all over 2 times a, which is 1. And when we put that into our calculator, we get two values out. We get one value for when we add it. When we add it, we get 22.74 as our answer. And when we subtract it, we're going to get minus 23.74 as our answer. Now, n can't be negative, so it's got to be positive. Now, we want this tells us when it equals naught. So when it's greater than naught, the first value of n, remember n's going to be a whole number because you can't have 0.2 or 3 terms. You've got to have a whole number of terms. So the first whole number where this will occur will be when n is 20. Three. So the answer to our question, we go back, find the least number of terms for an arithmetic series to exceed a given value is going to be when you have 23 terms in this series.